Welcome to today's video. Today we're making a teddy bear. Mine turned out to be not good. So don't do what I'm doing, but you can still follow along with the concept. Just uh, it'll take some trial and error for you to get a uh, good pattern going. Or find one online. It's very easy to find one online and just follow that pattern. I just thought I could make my own and I was completely wrong. From what I've noticed, the more detailed your pattern is, the more, uh, good it looks. Like, uh, you see the Pokemon plushies at the store or something, they look really nice. You see this excuse of a stuffed animal, it's not good. <laughs> this is why I don't sew stuffed animals, though. This is why this is not what I do. I do not sew. I crochet. And I draw. I don't sew. So I started from the head and I worked down each side to the tips of the feet and then I left the crotchal region open so that I could flip it inside out. And before I flip it inside out, I am trimming around the edges. Not trimming, but cutting slits around the edges so that the fabric can fold in and sit a little better once we flip it inside out. I'm probably cutting way too many slits. You probably don't need nearly this many. Probably every inch or two would be fine. I just used a running stitch on the outsides, so I'm being very careful while flipping it inside out so that I don't break any of the thread. When you stuff your stuffed animal, stuff all the limbs separately. That way the stuffing isn't getting pulled into the center like it was with mine because I just did giant chunks. And when you're stuffing something, remember that you're going to need a lot more stuffing than you think you will. So I'm folding in all the little flaps and then I'm just doing a running stitch along the very bottom of it. If you're coming up with your own pattern, I suggest doing it bit by bit. Make a body, just a basic body shape, don't worry about limbs or legs or ears or anything, just make the body, sew it, stuff it, flip it, well flip it then stuff it, and then make the extra pieces and sew those on. I feel like that will get you a better pattern. This allows you to place everything exactly where you want it, exactly what size you want it, and it gives you the exact shapes that you want. No, no surprises when you flip the thing inside out, like with mine. The fabric that I used for the extra pieces, like the ears, the belly, the mouth, they blended in way too much, so I cut some new pieces with a completely different color. tucking the tail under my new piece of fabric and then poking it up through the fabric. I'm just doing a running stitch across the edge. If you sew these pieces on after you make the entire stuffed animal, make sure you don't sew it to the back fabric, the back side of the stuffed animal on accident.
So I decided against doing a belly and a mouth. This stuffed animal is a little bit too small for all these details, at least for me. So I finished the tail and then I sewed it onto the butt of the plushie using, I think it's called a satin stitch, it might be, I'm running in the same direction. It was very hard to find buttons that I liked, but with this being a very wonky project, I figured I'd go with di two different size buttons. Sorry about the wonky lighting, I put a curtain up because the light was coming in through the window. So there's my project. I hope yours is going much better than mine. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting.